Hello, Magic students. I'm Dr. Beatriz Gonzalez, president of the Wolfson Campus. Welcome to this wonderful celebration of your fine work. I've seen your projects, Amazonia, Intergalactic Food Truck, What's the Buzz, and A Balanced Breakfast. They're amazing. What talent you've shown. You've shown that you are able to plan a project, work together, and execute it with excellence. They're amazing projects, and I know that this work will take you far and take you into new and wonderful projects where you'll continue to show your talent and bring your gifts to the world. This certainly is an unusual time, and it's a time that calls for people exactly like you, people who are creative, people who can solve problems in unusual and different ways. You know how to do that, and we need you. Thank you so much for being part of the Miami-Dade College community. You are the best sharks ever, and we're so happy to celebrate you, celebrate your great work, and celebrate your graduation. Please remember us, even after you're gone from our Miami-Dade college walls, we're certainly going to remember you for a lifetime. Congratulations again for your wonderful work. Congratulations on your graduation. Thank you for being part of Miami-Dade College, and go Sharks! The Museum of Tomorrow, in collaboration with Miami-Dade College's magic program, proudly presents Amazonia, a virtual reality experience. Welcome to the Amazon, the largest rainforest in the world. The purpose of this virtual reality experiment is to show that standing forests are very important for the survival of indigenous peoples who depend on natural resources. You should collect as much food as possible using your hands or artifacts, such as the spear and basket. Hello, I am Rafael Morales. And I am Laura Manresa. And we are the creative directors for Intergalactic Food Truck. Intergalactic Food Truck is a virtual reality cooking game where you prepare different types of food to different alien races. Our team has put a lot of work into this project and in the middle of this whole pandemic situation, we managed to get it done on time. So we hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Cortez and I am the creative director for What's the Buzz? It stars the book bee, a little bee who likes to read books. That's kind of his thing, you know? And he has his own talk show called What's the Buzz? where he brings authors of classical literature back to life to interview them for a limited time. However, the interviews never really go as planned. Please enjoy. All right, here's Don Quixote. So, how exactly does this thing work, Ghost? Book B, this is the reanimation station. It allows us to bring any person back to life using their work. However, you've only got a limited amount of time to interview them before they turn to dust. Sounds complicated. Now, Book B, you did read Don Quixote, right? Uh, oh look, here comes Cervantes. Where am I? You're on a talk show, I'm gonna ask you questions, now come on. Yeah. Oh, I love shows. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Welcome to another episode of What's the Buzz? Hi, I'm the Book Bee. I'm a little bee, and I read books. It's kind of my thing, you know? <laughs> so today I have with me one of the greatest Spanish authors, Miguel de Cervantes. Thank you for having me, Book Bee. So what do you want to know? Well, Mr. Cervantes, how do you feel about pioneering the concept of a novel? With Don Quixote, it was easy. I just wrote it as if it actually happened in real life. Yes, you know, Don Quixote is really someone everyone should look up to, being noble no. and... No, Don Quixote is a critique on the desire of wanting to be noble. That was the whole point of the story. Oh, yeah, I guess it was. Uh, so, said Vantes, what was it like to be in the military in the 16th century? The Navy. The what now? The Navy. It was terrible. The only thing I remember is being captured by Ottoman pirates. <laughs> what? Really? Pirates? It was because of them I was held in captivity. It was because of them I was brought back to Spain and left poor. And it was because of them that I lost the use of my left hand! Oh my goodness! I mean, to be honest, you were always pretty poor. Come on, Cervantes. <laughs> Look on the bright side. It was because of those experiences that you were able to write Don Quixote. <laughs> I guess you're right. I became a stronger artist because of all of my life traumas. I suppose my life was not wasted after all. Thank you, Book B. So tell me, what was your favorite part? <laughs> to be honest, I actually didn't bother finishing it after the first few chapters. You what? <gasps> oh. So that's how that works. Hello everyone, my name is Brenna Werner and I am the writer and creative director of the 2D animated short film, A Balanced Breakfast. Our story is all about three flavorful princess sisters named Sweet, Sour, and Salty who argue over what to make their parents for their anniversary breakfast. All of our girls have different tastes and insist that their breakfast has to be the best one. But in the end, they learn that variety is the spice of life and everything is better when they come together. All right, girls, let's review the checklist. Sweet, did you prepare the balloons? Yes, sirree, sour, they're all blown up. Splendid. And salty, did you prepare the banner? <laughs> you know it. Marvelous. Aha, uh -huh. that's it for the <laughs> decorations. <laughs> now that just leaves preparing their breakfast. <gasps> Ooh, big sis, I know just the thing. The best thing to eat is a fun and tasty treat. Nothing's better for sweethearts than something. Well, um, it would certainly satisfy their sweet tooths. Girl, they're not gonna have any teeth left. <laughs> Don't cry, sweetie pie. I know you did your best, but we need a little more zest. You see? The best thing to devour for their breakfast hour is food packed with power. 
something healthy and sour. This choice is tart and smart. Are you nuts? At this rate, they're gonna starve. Step aside, sis. The best food is hearty. The rest is straight faulty. They need mean protein, something hot and salty. Ah, oh, here. At least paired with my orange juice, it prevents heart disease. Yeah, and let's add some whipped cream so we can go from parfait to partay. Oh, fine, yeah. While we're at it, here's some bacon so your pancakes can stack up. <laughs> Girls, is everything all right? What is all of this commotion? Oh, oh um, um, happy anniversary! Sorry, Sorry about, about the mess. mess. Nonsense. This has to be the best one yet. What a combination of flavors. Do you girls know what the best part of this breakfast is? Which? The best part is that you made it together. When flavors come together, everything tastes much better. Man, this breakfast is good. We should try putting pineapple on pizza next. Don't be absurd. Come on, sis. You can't be crying until you're trying Hawaiian. Well, maybe for lunch. <laughs> <laughs>